Senator from Vermont is recognized. Mr. President, I brought a lot of bills to the floor here. This is the last one I am bringing to the, uh, I brought to the floor of the Senate, but I, it's one that we have to act quickly on or we're going to be closing down our, our government. This bill provides uh, $1.7 trillion, the omnibus appropriations bill, $42 billion aid to Ukraine, $27 billion for victims of natural disasters. Most of what's in here has been put together in a bipartisan fashion, funding things that we all say we agree with. I'll put my full statement on the record, uh, especially thanking the hundreds of people that worked under both my direction and Vice Chairman Shelby's direction, but those who met with me throughout recesses when everybody else was gone in the evenings and weekends to bring it here. I hope we have a strong, positive vote. Mr. President, I rise today for the last time here to address my colleagues on the floor. Uh, after nearly 100 years of combined service between myself and the chairman, uh, I think that uh, we understand the Senate a little bit. Uh, this bill, we know what it is. We know it's omnibus. We know it's not perfect. Uh, but it's got a lot of stuff in it, a lot of good stuff. And I urge all my friends and colleagues to vote for this. For it's the right thing for the government, the right thing for the nation, I believe. I also uh, want to thank the entire appropriations and leadership staff on both sides of the aisle here for their years of service while I've served on the committee. And also, once again, without them, we wouldn't be where we are today. And I ask that my entire statement be made part of the record. Mr. President. This is one of the most significant appropriations packages we have done in a very long time. The range of people it helps is large and deep. After a lot of hard work and compromise, the Senate is funding the government with an aggressive investment in American families, workers, and national defense. Here's who it helps, working families, parents who can't afford childcare, pregnant workers, students, and so much more. It's one of the most significant packages for women across America, including protections for pregnant workers, part of the momnibus, and new moms who will now get one year of postpartum care, and it's fitting we're ending the 117th Congress by protecting our democracy through reforming the Electoral Count Act. I want to thank the great staff of the Appropriations Committee, Chuck Kiefer and Shonda Batorni. I want to thank all of those who worked so hard and the members of the committee. And I think it's only appropriate to conclude with a round of applause for our two great leaders, Amen. Senators. Leahy and Shelby, who have done a great job through the years on the Appropriations Committee. Yes, for the A's and A's. And this will be, by the way, couldn't work out that military thing. This will be the last roll call vote. A Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year to one and all. The question occurs on the motion to concur with Amendment 6552 as amended. The yeas and nays were requested. Is there a sufficient second? There is. The clerk will call the roll. Ms. Baldwin. Aye. 